Anna Rashad Malushi. Thank you very much for joining us here today at the Institute for Cultural Diplomacy for the um, conference of the, the Berlin Congress of International uh, Economy. We'd like just to have a, a few questions uh, as a, an extension to the lecture that you just uh, delivered. Uh, uh, this afternoon. So I have a few questions that I'm going to uh, uh, deliver to you along with my colleagues. So I'm going to start with my colleague who probably is going to ask you the first question. Uh, in, in your opinion, how important is the role of cultural diplomacy in developing countries? And how, what do you think can be the most effective way of applying cultural diplomacy in those countries? It is very important to develop the infrastructure and to develop the economy and to develop the whole country by relying on to, to the international or by other, uh, looking at the other examples. And to look at that, you have to understand the others. In other words, you cannot do it alone. Alone cannot be done. You're going to make mistakes. You're mm -hmm. going to repeat the mistakes which others are, are, are have done before. So when you have a good relationship with others and you have a good relationship of understanding the culture, understanding the mentality, understanding the business, understanding the cycles, of other economies, other countries, that would make your life easier to develop yourself. Yeah. And it's all about relationship, it's all about communication, knowing others how they have done it, and when you understand the details of it, it will make your life easier to develop these things. How could it be done by, it takes time, it's not a matter of one day and things could be done, you have to build a relationship. You have to put that culture on the people who live in that society. They have to understand where others are coming from. They have to understand the mentality of they, if they will act uh, in, in doing something. They have to know why they have done it that way. And this takes some time, but without it, it cannot be uh, easy to develop someone's uh, economy and structure. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Belushi, like, uh, um, uh, in continuation where you just talked about economy, since the conference is about the econ uh, global economic trend. So what do you suggest for developing countries? I mean, I'm sure you mentioned this in your uh, uh, keynote speech this afternoon, but I would like more elaboration on like, what do you think the, um, uh, the prerequisites for developing countries uh, to make their uh, economies su sustainable, but also like to boost the performance of their local economies? They have to, uh, first, they have to look at their strength. And they look at something that if they would do, it will, it's going to make them unique. So they, and they, have, they, they should not diversify their attention to do three or four things with a lower quality. They have to look at one thing and do it right and concentrate how to do it right. Two, they have to rely on others' experiences and on others' relationship. Again, uh, if they want to develop something or an economy or maybe something related to the infrastructure, they should not start from scratch. They should look at how it is done and they have to use uh, others as a benchmark to mm -hmm. compare what they have achieved with. Then th they have to have a commitment mm -hmm. to achieve these things. Everybody has to be committed. They have to have a plan, clear plan, they follow up that plan and they make sure that they are achieving these, the objectives and the goals that they had put the, for themselves. Mm -hmm. If not, they have to have the ability to uh, tune it up but, uh, or to uh, look at the other alternatives and they have to twist to that alternatives very fast and again go back and redo the whole thing again. So the most, the most important thing is the, spe the speciality that they have to go. Uh, let me just make sure that I uh, get you right. Uh, you said that you shouldn't do two or three things at the same time, right? Because in your lecture you said that, for example, when you were talking about uh, the uh, uh, your country, like Dubai, for example, you said that we are not only based, or our, our, your economy is not only based on oil, but like, like it's diversified. So I so, hey. find that like a little bit contradicting. We have looked at our strength, location-wise. We are we are positioning ourselves as a location strategy, and attracting uh, investment was another alternative due to the wealth that we had as a, a natural resources. Mm -hmm. So the elements that we relied on to develop. Our economy, we're solid, we knew what we were doing with those things, mm -hmm. and we were learning from others how to develop them. W when I said that one thing, it's not like one particular thing, but it's something that it is something you are very strong with, and you know that if you do it, you're going to achieve it properly, mm -hmm. you're going to achieve it rightly. So this is uh, uh, what I'm concentrating on. And in your opinion, like, what are the, uh, the challenges that might be faced by those developing countries in trying to like uh, create or like be creative in their economic model? The biggest challenge is the awareness uh, itself and the uh, ability for 
the decision makers to give up their old habits. That is, I've seen it as a big challenge in most of the uh, uh, organizations and even countries that they are doing things for years and now they want to develop it. They have some difficulties to give it up, the, to give up the old way and do the new way. And others, the financial issues could be one of the uh, uh, obstacles, the, edu the education. It is one of the biggest uh, uh, challenge that if you don't have the right people, mm -hmm. if you don't have the right committed people who are knowing what they are going to do, that might be uh, a showstopper. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I, want to, I wanted to ask actually, how is the MASTAR project progressing and has, and has the Renewable Energy Agency, IRENA, brought any results uh, in Abu Dhabi? I personally am not aware that much of ARENA, but I've seen the projects that they are doing. I've seen the uh, the rewards that they are giving to the creative ideas. I've seen the uh, participation of uh, providing services and uh, providing uh, uh, like electricity or other products to the other nations and other uh, let's say schools and other organizations. But speci but specifically, I'm not aware of uh, that that specific part. Um, regarding a bit more of a personal question, this um, regarding the current investments in Serbia, are there any chances that there are investments that there will be investments expanding in Albania, and what are the requirements to facilitate this process? I'm coming from the stock markets, and I've seen the behavior of the investments and investors. Investors, they have no nationalities, <laughs> they have no uh, boundaries, boundaries, and they're sticky at the same time. So once an opportunity is there and they stick in some investment opportunities, they stick there for a while. So it doesn't matter which country, which nationalities, it doesn't matter. It's just a matter of investors, they, they always think, if I put my money there, what is the return for me? And if I want to pull back my money, how easy it is for me? That is the boundary and that is the nationality of the investors. All right. Um my last question, I believe. In your opinion, what factors can help to ensure uh, the sustainable development of tourism in the UAE? Tourism. <laughs> yeah, good question. Is uh, the first the safety? Mm -hmm. When you travel some anywhere, you take your children, you take your friends. Security. You mean. The security, the safety. How safe? How secure the country is for you? Of course. Then is the language. There are so many beautiful countries you could visit. But due to the limitation of the language, you have difficulties communicating with them. And you just avoid going there. Third is how expensive and uh, flexible and affordable. That is very important. Fourth, if you go there, what alternatives I would see? Some, they like to go for sport. Will they find it? Mm -hmm. Some, they like to go to the sea. Will they find it? Some, they like to go to the mountain. So that the, the, the diversity of places that they could visit and uh, UAE, uh, in general, they are doing a good job in that. You go to UAE, safety is there, languages, many languages are there, uh, availability of different needs for you is there. If you take your kids, your kids will be happy, you will be happy, and the mother will be happy as well for shopping. So the, the availability and the diversity of things is the items for the sustainability of the uh, tourism. Thank you very much for your time and your insight. It was a pleasure having you. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.